<clears throat> so as I go through my divorce, I thought I'd make a, a quick marriage uh, video because I could certainly talk about marriage. Probably not supposed to talk about the divorce, but uh, you know, the first piece of advice that I would give you, no matter how much you love the person or you trust them or uh, you know, whatever, because you know, my, my marriage lasted 21 years. Uh, is uh, keep your accounts separate, okay? You know, you might want one joint account for paying the bills and uh, maybe one joint credit card. Uh, all the other credit cards should be separate in your relationship. All your accounts should be separate. Um, you need to maintain your own passwords and your wife needs to maintain her own passwords and keep those completely separate. I know that's difficult because, you know, they can always sneak into your computer and uh, and get your passwords. Uh, but uh, as long as you encrypt it with, uh, you can go to keypass.info, keypass.info, and download an app there. And then uh, you can encrypt all your passwords to your password and just never give that to your wife. Okay, just a piece of advice. And uh, of course, you know, because I am talking cybersecurity here, you want to keep the um, keep all the passwords on your accounts uh, um, different. Okay, you never use the same password for multiple accounts. Um, so it's uh, just a, some 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 marriage advice there. Um, the other thing, there's there's going to be warning signs that will come along uh, while you're married that maybe things just aren't working out. I guess my first warning sign was I paid my wife the uh, equity in the house because I wanted us to own a, because I moved into her house, I, I was renting at the time, and I wanted us to own the house uh, together. And so I paid her, you know, the equity in the house so that we were 50-50 on that house. And, uh, you know, and against my wishes, she had the, uh, well, the reason why we got married, she's a beautiful woman, no doubt about it. I mean, I. I tell you, you know, I was uh, lucky to, to find her, um, but beauty's not everything, people. It's not everything. Um, but she had the perfect body. Oh my God! And uh, the first things that she did, she took that equity money against my wishes as her as her husband, uh, and I protested and I protested, and she went and got a boob job. <laughs> and you know that should have been a huge warning flag. You know, because, uh, cause, and, and you know, if I was for it, I mean, I know some guys are into that crap, you know, but I, the thought of sucking on some silicon sacks, you know, just grossed me out, man. So, uh, anyway, I, you know, I'm not trying to be mean here, but I just didn't want her to do it. All right, we'll talk here again in a minute. I got some people coming. I'll get back on the video. All right, they moved on. So the, the second warning sign was when uh, she wanted to be joined on all the accounts. Um, I didn't see the necessity for it. It should have been a red flag right there, but you know, at the same time, you gotta trust somebody in this, in this life. And so uh, I went ahead and made her join on all the accounts. I uh, even joined on most of the credit cards, uh, you know, and um, she hasn't violated that trust per se. I, I, I have yet to, to completely absorb all the all of she's you know she's lawyered up right now and I'm not I'm just kind of telling you guys uh, you know the things to look out for you know the other thing was the uh, jealousy I mean how can you be jealous of me I'm a short fat troll man <laughs> there's not many women that think that I'm attractive you know I can tell you that right now but uh, you know so uh, um, but yeah she at one point she thought I was cheating on her and wanted to yeah, I gave her the passwords to all the accounts, let her peruse all the transactions, and she spent weeks doing that. And I guess that should have been the next red flag to me. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking about. <clears throat> anyway, that's uh, that's about it for this video. Um, I uh, I just kind of wanted to, you know, all my all my videos are about life. You know, how to change your locks, uh, how to change the oil in your motorcycle. You know, how to put a carrier on the back of your motorcycle. Um, you know what you know what I think the future holds you know with high gas prices should shouldn't you get a, a Toyota Prius Prime and and then learn about that Toyota Prius Prime when you when I'm getting uh, well I'm averaging about 80 miles to the gallon really 
they sell 133 but you know like today as i drove out here on the electric charge this is one of my favorite places uh, to hike i'm just out getting a day hike in um and that's another thing you know if you go through uh, uh something in your life that's uh traumatic make sure you split your day up right you know get out do a hike get back and then get 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 to the grindstone you know just and, and simple stuff i mean like uh i was trying to get her name off of my um my life insurance policy and uh i couldn't believe it man i got, I got up there and i said well who do i want to leave the money to because you know all my relatives are scumbags for the most part and uh and uh, I just don't, uh, and my best friend's dead, you know, most of my friends. I got a couple friends I wouldn't mind leaving a little bit to. But uh, for now, I just said, well, you know what, I'll just, for now, I'll just make the VFW, because that's where I go and I hang out with the other veterans. And uh, they've, they've been, been very nice to me and treated me well. And uh, I said, well, that's as good a place as any to leave my life insurance to. But then to, to, to just change the name on the, on the life insurance policy, you, you know, you get into all kinds of crazy stuff. I mean, they want the tax ID of the VFW. I'm like, how the hell am I supposed to get the tax ID, you know? And so I went there today, and it's going to be Tuesday of next week uh, when the guy comes in. I, I left him a note. <clears throat> Evidently, he's, a, he's an early morning person, and if you know me, I'm not. <laughs> That's for damn sure. <laughs> you know, I, I've worked, worked nights most of my life. I, even in retirement, I work nights, uh, you know, on the computer, um, reading email, paying bills, you know, everything you got to do in life to, to get by. But uh, anyway, I guess that's uh, that's about it. Uh, but, what, but guess where I was heading with this conversation is, you know, because I had her name joint on all the accounts and, you know, of course, everybody's using COVID as an excuse. Every single bank, every single uh, thing that I want to do takes three hours of hold time on the phone, you know. And that's why you know it's important just go hiking and just sit there on hold and you might get one or two things done a day and if she hadn't been joint on all my accounts it things would have gone a lot a lot more smoothly but you know so anyway i'm getting back to that life insurance then because that's the latest one um you know so now i gotta wait till next tuesday just to change the damn life insurance policy you know it's uh it's it's huge man it's it's huge when you've lived with somebody for 21 years uh it uh to, to to part ways and in every single fashion and get their name off of everything and change your locks and do all the stuff that you got to do it's a it's a pain in the butt but uh i guess that's long enough for this video i'll probably wait till uh uh maybe the divorce is over before i post this but i did want to make a, a video while everything's fresh on my mind that's another thing about making videos you know it's you, you I make them as I go through it, right? When you think about it, I mean, I all my videos are about all the things that I did for preparation for Armageddon, you know, a stock market crash, a housing market crash, uh, you know, having a garden in the back, and that's what that's what my videos have been all about, you know, for the most part, resilience, right? Resilience, and, uh, and be, being out hiking is about resilience, maintaining my health, maintaining my mental condition, you know, and then of course, you know, now now it's all about the divorce <laughs> so, but uh, you know here's here's another thing to for you to think about there are some huge huge advantages i heard on the radio today that uh, the price of coffee is going to go way up and my wife oh man i tell you she was a caffeine fanatic she drank she she inhaled more coffee i i couldn't keep the house stocked with coffee you know in fact uh, before she moved out which i promise you she took the coffee with her i, I had bought a ton of coffee because I knew the price was going to go up, you know, because in anticipation. And that's another thing that you need to do. You got to pay attention to what's going on in the world and, and anticipate it, which is what I was trying to do because I knew inflation was coming and I knew that, uh, you know, I had to stock up on everything. So that's going to be a huge savings for me. You know, you say, well, coffee, who, who cares about that water? Oh my God, she used 17,000 gallons of water in November alone. I don't even know how that's possible. So, you know, so now, you know, what I'm seeing is, uh, especially this time of the year, because you don't really sweat a whole lot getting out here and hiking and doing what I do. And yeah, I'm not trying to gross you out, but I only take a shower like every couple of days or so, you know. So the water I'm going to save is huge. Uh, my uh, automobile policy, uh, she had been in an accident, okay? Uh, and so 
getting her off of the automobile policy. I mean, they huge, huge savings. Um, you know, getting her off of um, other accounts, um, you know, huge savings everywhere. I mean, just even in food. I mean, her big thing was to go out to eat. And they, you know, she, she wants to hang out with the rich people. And I, and they would spend, you know, 50. And, of course, I, I would get mad because I'd say, you know, you don't need that mixed drink. You, why can't you wait till you get home to have a, a, a vodka and tonic or uh, whatever, you know, or beer? You know, because that's, that's the big expense or was the big expense at restaurants, plus the cost of the food, you know. So every time she would go out to eat, I mean, that'd be a huge bill, you know. So I'm not. I'm gonna save on that because I hate going out to eat. I should, you know, it's just not my. It's not my thing. Um, just number one, the expense, and number two, the time. I just hate taking all that time out of my day to just go to a restaurant. I have too many other things that I like to do, like hiking. And you know, I am gonna get back to work on the cybersecurity business. So um, getting a little long-winded on this video, uh, but you know, there's uh, oh, and her insurance. I was paying for her insurance. Uh, that she had, uh, I don't know, Centennial Life, I think it was Medigap policy or something. I don't know what the hell it was. You know, so I, that that bill comes off. Now, is it is it gonna be tough to make ends meet? Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, but uh, everything. It's not just cut in half, okay? It, it depends on who you're married to. You know, if they're, if they're a spendaholic, well, she accused me of, but I bought assets, okay? If I needed a new phone, I got a new phone. Um, well, and especially with my mom's situation up in Virginia, I had to make sure that I had reliable transportation. So if I needed a new car, I bought a new car. But if I thought the hot water heater, 20 years old, needed to be replaced, I replaced it. You know, so the, these are big ticket items uh, that she was against. Uh, she didn't want to spend that money. I can understand it in a certain way, but I, you know, but her, you know, you go out to eat. That's that's money in the. I mean, these are assets, right? This phone will last me a long time. And it's going to have to because I'm not going to be able to get a new phone for quite some time. You know, I barely have enough money to pay the bills each month, uh, even with her gone. But I tell you, I'm seeing the savings. And, uh, and of course, I am looking into becoming an Uber driver. Well, anyway, I guess that's uh, it for this video. Uh, but I did want to talk about marriage and divorce and expenses and, and things that you need to be thinking about. Oh, another thing I forgot about this is she was a huge gambler. Um, she loved to go to the casinos. To me, I hated it. All that smoke. I mean, in, in Biloxi, Mississippi, they still allow smoking in the casinos. There's one that doesn't, um, but uh, I don't think the odds there are very good. Well, there's the odds in any casino are stacked against you. You know, it's, you, you're just pissing away money, and I don't understand the thrill about that. So I hated it, but I, I went on the trips sometimes because I enjoyed hiking along the beach and uh, just getting out and doing things while she would gamble. So that's another huge expense that I don't have to worry about no more. So um, you can see the advantages. Uh, it's uh, There's a bright side to everything. That's all that I'm trying to say. All right, let's do the mantra and uh, we'll be done with this video. Freedom, oh freedom. Good to live in the free state of Florida where we have no mask mandates, no jab requirements, no lockdowns, under the brilliant leadership of our governor, DeSantis. Peace out and stay free. I forgot one other thing to add to the video. Because, you know, 20 years ago, politics wasn't really a big concern. Because, you know, you've had rhino Republicans and liberal Democrats and they were basically the same party and so you really didn't have much choice about anything and uh, so you just kind of went along with uh, whatever candidate was presented to you. Um, but I think uh, things have changed now, you know. We are, uh, it looks to me like we're heading for civil war. I really do think that because you've got people like me that are for the uh, Constitution. Um, I strongly support freedom of speech. I strongly support the right to uh, own guns, uh, the Second Amendment. Uh, well, I'm a constitutionalist. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm a veteran. You know, I swore an oath to uphold the Constitution. I didn't swear an oath to the U.S. government. Um, so, uh, so politics now 
can play a huge role in a marriage, and it certainly did for our divorce between me and my wife. Uh, she's a huge liberal Democrat, a huge Biden supporter, um, who was even, you know, very active in the election to get Biden elected. Um, you know, me, I'm a, I'm a MAGA person, make America great again. Not necessarily a Trumper, but uh, I felt like he did a good job as president, you know, whatever. But that created a huge divide in our relationship. So, um, you know, so my advice is if you're going to get married, and I know that people don't want to talk about politics, you know, or whatever. Uh, it's, it, whether you want to talk about it or not, it's going to be a part of your life, you know. So I would make sure that you're compatible, at least in your basic beliefs. Um, you know, are, is the person that you're marrying against free speech like my wife was? Okay. Uh, because, you know, she was all for them taking Trump down off of uh, Twitter, his mean tweets, you know. And I said, that's a violation of the First Amendment. I said, how can you? I said, I don't care if it's Biden up on Twitter, which he's still there. Um, you know, you can't just nuke somebody right off of the platform. And then they've taken down, you know, that's had a bad precedent because then they took down hundreds of conservatives. And now the censorship on Twitter is, is insane. You know, if, you, if, you, if you're going to be on Twitter for your business or whatever, I... I highly advise you to uh, be opening up uh, Getter or um, uh, Parler and get you some alternate platforms because we are having a divergent economy. You've got your uh, social communist uh, Marxist uh, on one side of the country, that's the blue states, and you've got your freedom-loving uh, uh, Republicans you know, on the other side. And, of course, you still have your rhinos in there. Anyway, I guess that's, uh, that's it. I just thought I want, wanted to one, one last thing. You know, be sure that you get the politics of the person that you're marrying. Peace out. <clears throat> you know, on these videos, things pop into my head. It depends on the theme of the video or the topic that I'm talking about. You know, here's, a, here's another big red flag for you. Um, you know, everybody says there's certain topics that are taboo. Uh, the three topics that I'm referring to are religion, politics, and investing. Uh, for whatever reason, a lot of people don't want to talk about those things. Uh, they, they consider them too controversial. Well, let me, you know, and how you pick your friends or how you pick uh, your mate or your wife or whatever, you know, the, there are a few things that you need to consider, okay? You know, in my view, all men and women are created equal in the eyes of God, okay? If your spouse or your friends call you a racist and uh, don't see that all people are created equal and you can you have to make your own way in this life um, and everyone deserves respect, then then you got a problem with your friends or your spouse. You know, I'm not saying my wife was that way, but uh, let's just say uh, these are things to think about. Um, let's talk about religion, okay? Does the person you're marrying... I mean, I'm not saying they have to be, you know, a church going, uh, you know, giving 10% of their, their wealth to the church or anything like that. But, I mean, do they have a fundamental belief that there's a spiritual plane above us? Because, you know, I've talked about this in a previous video. How do we know right from wrong? You know, so that's, uh, that's a good question. It seems that some people don't know right from wrong. Um, so, that, so I would try to get a feel for their... Their spiritual beliefs and if they don't want to talk about it at all I would say that's not a good friend you know I can't tell you the number of friends that I lost being a MAGA supporter and I say friends acquaintances um, because they were huge Black Lives Matter or BLM supporters you know and I said those I said those BLM people are burning down cities man they're lunatics you know and oh man I tell you so I don't even I don't even converse with them anymore so that was a huge thing um, and at, at one point, I called them friends. So, and then, of course, investing. <clears throat> That's another topic that uh, a lot of people just don't want to talk about, and I don't really understand it. Or when sometimes you get with somebody, and they say, oh, you know, I got, you know, Joe Schmo, and he manages all my finances, and uh, I just don't worry about it, and he's done good for me. And that's the end of the conversation. Now, that's that's a questionable person, Okay. Because one of the most important things in life that you need to think about is how your funds or how your money is invested and what you're doing with it. 
um, you know, even if you're paying somebody just to manage it for you, you should at least be logging in and take a look at it. And if, if you're friends with a person that can't even talk intelligently about, you know, what a mutual fund is, or uh, uh, maybe uh, they have a few stock recommendations, or uh, um, back in the day, you know, bonds, maybe they own some bonds, they might tell you about those bonds and, you know, what their financial advisor is recommending. If you can't have that conversation, it's probably not a good spouse to be with and probably not a good friend to be around. I mean, my best friend up in Michigan, we used to talk investing all the time. He's dead now, unfortunately, as with most of the people that I knew. All right, so I just wanted to tack on to this video. So three topics to get before you get married. One, they're politics. And of course, for me, don't marry a Democrat or a liberal Democrat, or I guess a progressive Democrat is what my wife was. Uh, number two, get their religious beliefs. Do they believe in the in a higher plane? Do they? And I, when I say that, God, of course, do they believe in God? Uh, you know, they don't have to be super religious, but uh, at least they have to have a a moral compass, right? And then number three, you know, will they uh, will they help you with the investments or help you with the money management? You know, that's another thing uh, a lot of people uh, just want to ignore is their finances. You know. You gotta pay strict attention to that. It's a complicated world. So, okay, I guess that's it for this video. It's got too long. Um, you guys peace out and stay free. I just had to throw that out. You know, three, the three taboo topics. And even when you go to, um, like when I go to the VFW, oh, we can't talk politics in here, why not? It's, it, it impacts everybody's life on a daily basis. Why don't you wanna talk about politics? You know, uh, why, is it, why is that such an unpalatable conversation? You know, so, because, uh, uh, you know, every time Congress passes a law and raises your taxes, that has an impact on you. So if you don't know what the hell's going on, how are you going to stop it? How are you going to vote for the right person? You know, I just, it, the, the stupidity of it all. All right, there you go. Peace out, stay free.